want to thank God for all that he's been doing in my life and for all that he's been doing. I've seen his work, I've seen his powers and I so wish that people as young as me could get the courage and to, to start to learn and know that there's no time for other things rather than expect, accepting God. So I want to thank God and I feel light, I feel that something is going to change in my life. Are there women here? who desire to be married and there's been an unusual delay in your marriage. Is there such women here? Come out. Who brought her? Who knows her? <gasps> Who should you know? <sighs> She's my neighbor. Bring her to me. <laughs> listen, listen to me. Listen to me, listen, listen. Where are you from? Which craft is re is reason you've not been married? It's a big one. You will not be used by traditional people. You're not called for that nonsense. They've cast a spell on you, but you will never be married until you answer a call. And that call is not yours. Spirit of darkness, I charge you now. Firstly, I'd just like to say thank you to Baba and thank you to God for all that he's been doing in my life. Um, today, I came into church and I felt that in my heart something was going to happen and I believed that I'm going to come out of church and something will have changed. So today it was a Sunday service and Papa located and he asked for people to who want to get married to go up front for prayers and as soon as he started praying my body just started to shake and I could feel the presence of God. and. Papa then advised me that it's a, it's a spiritual attack and that they want me to accept a calling and it is something that is said that if I don't accept the calling I will never get married and Papa prayed and he has broken that and I believe that it has been broken and it is um, corresponding to my past relationships and things just not getting into place. So I want to thank Papa and I want to thank God for all that he's been doing in my life and for all that he's been doing. I've seen his work, I've seen his powers. Um, I've seen a lot of change in my family. We have been going through a rough time, but I thank God and I thank Papa and I thank God for bringing this ministry to Cape Town and I so wish that people as young as me could get the courage and to to start to learn and know that there's no time for other things rather than expect, accepting God and this is the place to be. So I want to thank God and I feel light, I feel that something is going to change in my life and I do believe so. I would say I've had three, three relationships and the first one just ended and there was no reason and I didn't know what was going on. The second one, um, the, my boyfriend passed away and um, now the relationship that I'm in, it's fine and I believe that um, it's what God has um, brought to me for marriage but at times I could just there could just be hate built from nowhere like I could just hate this person that I'm with and would just want to end the relationship. So I'm just hoping that God will continue to give me the power to see it for the better. And I just hope and pray that um, it is well. I believe that it is well. How do you feel? I feel 
it's like I'm given more power and I feel I have more strength and confidence that everything will be fine and I'm feeling light and I feel like something has been removed from me. I want to just say that um, it's time for the young people to come to church and to not take things for granted and think that it's normal because the devil has done so many things to a point that it has become normal to um, our youth and our society and people think that it's just normal um, life problems or, or life issues. So I just want to invite people to the Sunday service or Tuesday service or any services just to come and feel the presence of the Lord and feel how it is to be in the presence of the Lord. God has instructed the bond servant of Christ, John, to send a message of Jesus Christ to all that live in Cape Town. It's time to uproot the yoke of drug addiction, sickness, disease, witchcraft, and gangsterism. It's time to lift up the banner of our Lord Jesus Christ in the city of Cape Town. Breaking news. We are glad to bring you the new structure from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Enosike. God has begun a new thing in our ministry, and it's very important that we align ourselves with what God is doing. With that in mind, the days of our services are going to change. Sundays, our first service will be at 7 a.m. and second service at 10.30 a.m. Our School of Revelation Bible Study will now be on Mondays and Tuesdays from 6 p.m. Fridays will now be Ascension Prayer, Healing and Miracle Service from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. A time of prayer and deliverance where the man of God will take time to minister to different cases, release the glory, and unlock dimensions for the supernatural as this is when God will be meeting our needs and those of our families.